Girl, you know what? This single woman with two babies as blessings has been a single mom for 14 years. And on this day, it was difficult. And we had to brainstorm together and gather up our village to get heaven to school to get dropped off since she has to get transported and there's no school transportation. The little cub was able to get together with her peers in the neighborhood and walk to the bus. I'm trying to get a virtual appointment real quick, but in order to break this fever, I got in here with some Epsom salt and mustered up enough energy to get to this urgent care because they said, well, come on in so you can take these tests to see if it's this. And this lady in the front, she was coming into the room with me, which usually if y'all advocate for yourself, because they didn't tell me I asked, oh, she's coming in the room. She was not very pleasant when coming in and didn't say hello. So I think that's what automatically made that appointment not a success. And I had to go to another location because I needed them to stick the thing down my throat, to check and, and swab my nose and do all the things they do to figure out why. Is mama feeling like this? Oh my goodness. What is going on? So I went back to another urgent care place to have them check me out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> At least they was playing the jams. What they got, the jams got a little too loud though. The speaker was right above my head. I'm like, hold on. I'm gonna need y'all to fix y'all's speaker system. But anyway, they got me back here and I was looking at this kid like he had his ass on his chest superman cape and I'm feeling like yeah I'm superwoman and this MA made it all of the best and she was able to help me in, and we were able to accomplish it and she was talking confidence and I was like girl you speak my language let's go and then I got back to my babies and they was hyped up and then I got them a little treat and something and that